and Dominic, I thank you both very much for your time today. Congratulations on Fresh Kills. You both did uh, terrific performances in this movie. Um, thank you, I want to ask you both, um, you, you both have been in your fair share of mob-related movies, crime movies. I was speaking to Jennifer before, but the thing about Fresh Kills is there's an authenticity uh, to this movie that is like nothing I've seen before. I think the closest comparison you can make is perhaps Martin Scorsese's Main Streets. Um, Annabella, when it comes to that authenticity, is that something that really spoke to you when you read the screenplay? Because um, it was something that really kind of jumped out to me because it felt like even though this was a independent production, the production values and such that led us through the early 80s to the, the late 90s, it was just uh, phenomenal and just worked really well. Yeah, I you know um, I I think some of the I mean I don't know how many mob movies have I been in a lot of mob movies I don't know uh, I was in The Sopranos but I think like The Sopranos uh, when the writing is really great it's it's uh, it can speak to anybody you know I've had people come up to me and say I really related to Tony Soprano and they're you know they're as far away from that world but that just speaks to really good writing. Um, and I, and I think that Jennifer's writing and, and her vision and these characters that she created and how they were interpreted, um, could, people can relate to. It doesn't have to be specifically, I'm from a mob family and I relate to this. It's just specifically, this is my life. I've been told I'm not allowed to speak. I've been tiptoeing around my whole life. I, I feel like I have no point of view. I'm nobody. And that's, I, I feel like that's something that a lot of people can relate to that are not specifically from a mob family or a mob neighborhood or even Italian American for that matter. Dominic, I know that your feature film debut was uh, A Bronx Tale, Chas Palmateri's uh, movie he did so long ago. Interesting thing about comparisons between Bronx Tale and Fresh Kills is that we're talking about deeply personal stories, written, directed, starring the creators themselves. Did you find similarities there in that regard as well between the two films? Oh, absolutely. Um, they kind of marry each other in 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 those respects. Um, two people, uh, two 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 artists who 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 have a story to tell, who stuck by their guns to make it themselves. Um, then, you know, uh, like Rose and, you know, uh, see, you know, that, that dilemma, right? Where do, where do you go? How, how do you react? Um, uh, a lot of similarities there, but it kind of what you hinted on in the beginning, uh, was it's a completely different point of view. And, and, you know, the reason I think Joe is there and that element is to show the authenticity of, of what they're talking about, to kind of paint that, that world that they're, they're, you know, they're just a pawn on this table and, and that, that's what it is. But this movie differently than uh, a Bronx that was taken from a whole different point of view that, that. None of us have. I, I mean, I haven't seen a movie that 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 has taken that approach. Annabella, I just want to ask. I was speaking to Jennifer before. We we're talking about the struggle she had to bring this story to the screen, and there's been a lot of talk over the years about trying to find a, a quality equity for more female filmmakers in the space, and yet she, for so long, was told no until she took the reins by herself. She said, no, stuff that. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to put it out there. Do you think that there has been any change over the last years? Like, I know last year we saw something like Barbie, for example, become a billion-dollar film with a female filmmaker behind the helm. But in the more grounded indie film space, do you think there's been any change there, at that bottom-level kind of filmmaking roots, or does it still very much a um, uh, male-dominated space in that aspect? I think the world is a male dominated space, um, not just our industry. And um, because we've lived like that for so long, uh, just like the women in this movie, actually, we, we, sometimes we have to fight to get what we want. And, and even the, the idea that 
<clears throat> these women don't are not allowed to speak up about what they really want. It's like that in the film industry as well. Women, you have to be very, very careful how you speak. I've seen men, I've seen actors, you know, punch a hole in the wall where we're shooting and, and we can't shoot anymore, you know. But then I've seen women just have a, a, a day where they're having a hard time and their costume is fit right. And somehow that's a problem and difficult. So I, I, I don't think it's just the film industry. I think it's, I think it's every place. And I think um, we just have to keep, keep up the good fight. Well, I think that Fresh Kills is going to be a game changer. And I think the work that both uh, you, Annabella, and Dominic put in the film is just fantastic. And it's one of my favourite films of the year. And congratulations well, to you uh, both. And um, also, um, I'm a big fan of both of your work. And so keep up doing the, the great work. And, and thank you so for so much that you have contributed uh, so far in, in, in the arts. It's much appreciated. Thank, thank you so thanks. much, Matthew. That's very kind. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Matt's Movie Reviews channel. Please subscribe for more reviews, podcast interviews, and exclusive content. Also, if you would like to request a review and support my work, please join my Patreon via the link in the description below.